What's up, Nation? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to show you everything about ranking players, how to make coins in FC Mobile, all those fun things that we got. So, uh, transfer market, it's your first time playing FC Mobile, uh, FIFA Mobile uh, in the last season. Uh, the market is going to look a little bit different here. Uh, and basically, uh, you can see here on this Mbappe card, this play, a great place to start it, uh, is there are players that are selling and there are players that are uh, people wanting to purchase. And basically, it is a player to player system. So, right now, there's someone trying to buy a for 28 million and someone trying to sell them for 30 million and once they line up then someone's gonna buy them and sell them uh, and then if there is two then obviously two people want it um, all the way up to 999 plus which honestly uh, could be any number above 999 now the one thing that's very different than past seasons that I've noticed is there's been a few times uh, where there's been players who have like 20 30 uh, even like a hundred people uh, looking to buy them or sell them I'm like well there's no way this is ever gonna go through uh, but it actually does uh, and, and I I think if you played in the previous seasons, uh, you've kind of were like, as soon as there was like three people or 10 people in front of you, you're like, well, I'm never going to sell this. It's actually different now. Uh, but the thing that's also interesting about this is that uh, when you go here, you can see that there are the different ranks that you can have of players. And as you click on this, you can see uh, over on the side there that there's a blue and a red uh, button basically that are going on there. And that is basically as of the last time that this is updated, uh, if anybody is trying to buy or sell the player. So red, there's people trying to sell it. Or no, people who want to buy it, sorry. And blue, it means there's people who want to sell it. And so if you don't see either of them, it means there's nobody basically buying or selling that card so nobody is buying or selling uh mbappe max rated for uh what is this his highest level one here his highest level one uh for 429 million so apparently nobody has 450 million to spend on this mbappe card uh and nobody's ranked him up to this point so you can see all the different ranking levels uh from there as well now what does it mean to rank a player what is the advantage of ranking a player and you'll see that every player in this game can be ranked and so uh we did a video a little while ago uh where we took a silver player and we max ranked them now what was interesting about that is their stats can go really really high if you train them the downside is training gets really expensive after the first few levels so uh, when we train him to his max level of uh, level 30 uh, it cost us like 29 million coins uh, to get the ranking players that we have because basically every player has that training cost that you're going in so for example if we go into our club right now you can see that we have uh, R9 right here. And this R9, I actually picked this one up in the market because one thing that's also interesting is if you go in here, it costs you basically two Ronaldo cards in order to rank that card up. And you can see here, it costs 22 million uh, or 23 million basically to buy one of this card. But if you go in here and look at his second level, it is 37 million, 34 million basically uh, to buy two of it. So you're saving a little bit by basically going in and buying this card uh, at the higher level. So again, 47. So as it gets higher, it is getting a little bit uh, lower on there. Uh, but this is also then going to 118, uh, 582. But you need like 10 of these Ronaldo cards uh, to rank that last level. Level. So every time you rank up, it gets harder and harder to, and to do it. Now, one thing you can do is if you are ranking, uh, there is a percentage system that you have. So you could technically risk it when you're doing the ranking if you don't have enough. And it will tell you right now, there's basically 50 of 50. So there's a 100% chance he is going to rank up to the next level. Uh, but if he didn't, if he was at a higher level, there's only a, a small possibility that he is going to rank up to that next level. Now, it does seem that you have to use the same Ronaldo card or the exact same card that you have in order to rank a player up. So right now, we have this R9 card that we can level up. Uh, and by leveling him up to the next level, he's going to go up to a training cap of 15. Uh, and so one thing that you can see here is if we look at our uh, Ronaldo card that we have on the bench, uh, the Ronaldo card that we have on the bench here. That's right now 99 pace, 97 shooting, 96 dribbling, 81 physical, and 49 defending. But on the other Ronaldo card, while his ranked version has the same stats, he has the ability to level up a little bit higher. So if I go in here and I max rank this one, you're going to see that his stats actually go up over 100 overall there. So it actually does a very big difference getting him to level 10. So it's going to cost a lot more to get him to level 10, uh, but he is going to level up as well. Now you can see all the players have different levels of ranking. The bronze players have 120, uh, which is different than in previous ones because different overalls actually had better... Um experience in the previous one but all the bronze players actually all have 120 as their ranking and then if we go into the silver cards you can see that they have 160 and if you go into the gold cards 
You can see that the gold cards are 250, uh, and then some of them, like that Roberto Carlos card that we have, is gonna have 1300 uh, experience. Now, with that Roberto Carlos card, what's interesting, the 1300 experience comes from the fact that we have trained players into that. So uh, there is kind of, in a way, a way of transferring the training in that way. because this player does have boosted experience that you can use. Now, I'm not going to use Roberto Carlos uh, into this one uh, because it doesn't really make sense to do it, but you can, in a way, transfer the training if you're trying to go to a higher level because he has that basically training boosted into him uh, to make him higher. And you can also see uh, that ranked cards are also going to have higher experience as well. As an example, you can see we have three different cards here. So the first two cards we have are uh, the base level, not ranked at all. And the first one has 200 experience that's going to go with uh, at level five he has 1200 experience which is basically i think equivalent to what i put into that card uh to get him to level five uh you can correct me if i'm wrong on that one but it's got to be very close to it uh what we would have maybe it's half of what you put in but uh, anyways it does give you some of the experience that you have back and then at the max rank and i just bought this card for a max rank uh for 4200 experience points uh so a big difference basically in the amount that you can train them based on which version you buy so when you're looking in the market about which players you want to add to your team think about which one is going to kind of give you the most for the ranking that you have so as it ranks up it does go up uh in the amount of experience that it's going to have so a silver uh that is the highest rank is actually going to be worth more experience than like a uh, 90 overall card uh that you have um that is not ranked up so a really interesting way that that kind of goes with there as you're building through it um again the other thing that you can do once you rank up a card so if we go in here we rank up this r9 card here now he can go to level 15 and now you're going to see what happens too as we rank him up we're going to be able to do more things with this card his overall goes up which is really helpful it also can help our team's overall go up as well um, as we go through there and they get these skill points that they can use so this card we can increase his shooting we can increase uh his passing we increase different things and for certain cards it will actually allow them to play in different positions as well as you rank them up so as we're going in here uh, you can see this is going to increase his acceleration, his reactions. Uh, this will just increase the shooting, uh, depending on which one you kind of want to go with here. I think I'm probably going to go with shooting uh, and then confirm that. You can always reset it with the reset all. And if you buy them off the market, they are at level zero in terms of like the skill points. Uh, so you can use whichever skill points you want when you're going through. So you don't have to use the ones that the person before used. It resets the skill points back to zero that we have. Uh, and then you can see these ones are going to unlock once you've basically gone through level three of shooting, level three of passing, and level three of dexterity. So essentially, uh, if you put all of them into one of these different categories, like all of them into shooting, uh, once you get to the max rank, which is like the fifth level basically of skill points you get, uh, or fourth level of skill points you can get, you're going to be able to do each of those uh, once from the skill points that you have, and then one of these ones at the bottom, or you can mix it up from some of these smaller ones as well. But you'll see that these ones uh, that we have at the end are going to be a big boost to it, like level uh, one of this one is going to give you plus 10 overall to those points. So that's where the kind of rank up helps there. But then again, it helps because we can take this uh, card and we can train him. So this Ronaldo card with his 105 pace as we level this up, see ele level 11. Uh, it's going to go quite a bit with each one. So level 13, now we're looking for 3,000 points, then 3,400 points, and then finally, uh, the final level is going to take us 4,000 points. So for right now, that's going to go through a whole lot of the bronze players that we have. But the nice thing again this season with training is that training this season uh, can be any player that you're putting in. So we put all of these points into this Ronaldo card, and that's going to allow us to train him up to basically this 115 shooting, 111 pace. Um, so the problem is we don't have a training transfer in terms of uh, Ronaldo cannot be transferred uh, and then you know sold after. If I tried to use this Ronaldo card as training, uh, let's say, for example, I went to Maldini and I wanted to use Ronaldo as training, well, he would give me 22,000 training experience to use this and pretty much bring Maldini up to the level I need him to go to. I am going to lose that Ronaldo card. So this Ronaldo card that cost me, you know, 40, 50 million coins, I wouldn't be able to train the transfer and then sell the card after. Uh, so be very careful with that. If I was to go ahead and try and put that Ronaldo card in, I would lose that card. Uh, so it's not like a training transfer like in previous seasons where it just transfers the training. It's actually going to completely take that card out of your lineup. So you're not going to want to go and put it in unless 
cards you really just don't want on your team anymore. But again, you can see some really nice things going on with the stats of that Ronaldo card from there. Uh, and then that helps to build our squad up even more. So uh, on the market, uh, again, you can be picking up different players. And this is one way to look at kind of investing with this is, is what are the players that are going to kind of go up in value? You can see like a lot of these ones uh, have sort of capped out at different prices. For example, uh, right now when we have some of these cards in here. On my squad here, Vinicius or Roberto Carlos, you can see there's 999 people trying to buy him because it's not going higher than that. But on his other ranks, you are going to have 13 million people, uh, 13 million coins, stuff like that. So if you could get a second Roberto Carlos for 5.9 million, you could actually get this Roberto Carlos and then level it up. The problem is getting that second Roberto Carlos to level it up could be difficult uh, because we don't know how many over 999 that Roberto Carlos is going to be. So one way that you could look at it is using the ranks to sell the higher rank players if it ends up being cheaper in some of the cases uh, to get to the next level of card that you're going to have. Uh, but honestly, one of the best ways I think in all of these games of FC Mobile now to make coins, uh, just kind of grinding through, uh, doing the quest. These ones at the bottom here are really important. Building up your uh, squad, training players, uh, those are going to get you gems. You can use those gems to open up points in the store. Uh, and then you're going to get the different coins as well that you can have. And I think a big one that helps you get coins is going to be this one down here. So winning manager mode, winning verse attack, winning head to head, 100,000 coins uh, here, reaching world class three, 300,000 coins. So as we level up, we're getting hundreds of thousand coins that we're going to have for there. Uh, and the other way to do it is to, you know, kind of hope that you get some good players in the in the packs that you can sell uh, for some coins that you would get or grind through the different uh, matches um, that you would have in the different events. So I will say right now in this season, there's not a ton of ways to grind for coins like there have been in previous ones where you could kind of go through. Uh, getting yourself into FIFA Champion is going to be a great way to do it because the end of season rewards here, uh, you can see even as you level up in the promotion, you're going to get a million coins as you go from there. Uh, but looking at some of the rewards at the end of the season, uh, you're going to get an 85 to a 94 overall player being in FIFA Champion. So that's going to be really helpful from there. Plus all the different uh, points that you're going to get, they're going to be able to spend on that one. Um, but really, the big way that you're going to want to do it, other than kind of grinding through there, uh, is uh, building your team out from getting the gems. So while it's difficult to get uh, coins right now, it's actually fairly easy to get gems. And so if you're going to use those gems, uh, you could potentially try and save them up, use them in some of these uh, standard packs, which does guarantee you an 82 overall player every 10 times you do it. So basically every two days, if you have enough uh, gems to do it, you can build up the different points from there. And I think that's going to be one uh, that doing your daily quest, uh, auto playing through your six uh, matches of whether it's head to head, manager mode, those things uh, to get up to here and get the 200, 300, 360 gems every single day and then going along here getting up to a thousand gems uh, a week from there so you can actually get a lot of gems use those gems to get the packs and then hope that you get some players that you can sell in the market or use on your squad so i think it's going to be a slow grind for coins at the start uh, especially like road to glory style you can see most of the stuff on our road to glory uh not as quick to get the coins that we want for the players but there are a lot of kind of players in these packs and things you can kind of grind through uh, to, to help sort of build up the gems and use those gems to do it. Now, you could also save the gems, uh, deciding if there might be something better in future promos to save for. Um, I'm going to just kind of go with it now uh, so that we can get as many things as we can uh, pick up now. The other thing is the daily login, right? The daily login for that first week, lots of gems in that daily login. So getting a lot of points kind of in that first one. The second week, not really quite as good. Uh, the gems and all the free players and all those things seem to be more of a first week thing uh but uh, still some decent players in there so that's basically uh what we have for ranks how you can rank players how you can train players how you can kind of use the market to try and build up your squad uh get the gems to try and get the coins and help you out with this so hopefully this helped you out uh building out your squad in fc mobile uh the one thing i do like about it, i mean it is tough to get ranked players now it is tough to rank up players now um but i like this kind of makes it more of a slower grind for there right we're not going to get a lot of players that are going to have like you know the max ranked players and if they are they're silver players which honestly i've played in game with them they don't play as well as ronaldo uh or the top players that aren't ranked up even though they have better stats i still would prefer using ronaldo in game and it is a bit of a choice uh and also if you spent all the coins you still need 29 million coins to get them up to a level 30 so 
realistically, you're probably not looking at a lot of people having max rank players, max rank cards here. So it's kind of making the, I feel like the progress of this game uh, a little bit slower, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I do think it might be an issue when we start getting untradeable players, uh, you know, like we have with the Founders players, uh, because there's nowhere to level up some of those Founders players. But it'll be interesting how that kind of builds out later in the season. Um, but for now, I, I mean, I like that it's kind of just keeping everybody's teams a little bit lower overall, uh, keeping it more about like evenly, uh, you know, dispersed with the sort of overall that we have. Like my Road to Glory account, while it is a lower overall than this squad, the players on the team are still solid players that we have on the team. And there is a lot of kind of talented players. And if you want, you can rank a couple silver players, get them a little bit higher stats, those kind of things, which allows them still to compete with some of these players based on the stats. It's just some of these higher overall players will feel a little bit better in game than that. All right, here we go. Back up to R9 again. He's got one player to beat. Goes for the big strike. And oh my goodness. All right. Uh, so that card has an unstoppable shot. Uh, wow. All right. That was a quite the power shot. Terrible effort. I don't know who their goalkeeper is. Actually, isn't their goalkeeper Larice? I feel like Larice might want to try and save that ball. But I think this might be actually our opportunity to score from half. Anyways, thank you for checking this out. Stop mobbing. A pleasure. I'll stop deep.